Hey there, are you running uh, some kind of marketing campaign online and you're frustrated with the quality of leads uh, that you're receiving or maybe the leads are just really not that high intent? Well, today we're going to talk about how you can implement some quick little strategies to change this. Uh, but before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, to stay up to date with all the videos that we're pumping out to help you grow your business. So folks, uh, today we're going to be talking about just that, how to get more high intent leads via the internet, via your marketing online. Uh, and before I get started, what I want to do is I just want to share my screen real quick, uh, because before we do this, uh, I wanted to make sure that you had already watched a video that we launched, and that is Website Strategy for Insurance Agents. Uh, this video is going to be crucial before you take the next steps and strategy with the video that I'm about to do here in a minute, because a lot of what I was talking about in this video is going to help you to get higher intent leads online with your marketing. So make sure to head over to our YouTube channel, uh, watch this video right here, website strategy for insurance agents, and then come back to this video uh, as we move forward. So let's talk about it folks. So, uh, you know, as we're, as we're online, as we're creating video, which I highly recommend, uh, it's, it's really important to have certain things in place on your website, uh, so that when somebody is either going to your website, uh, via your marketing efforts, maybe you're driving people to your website, or maybe they got some type of your marketing collateral and, uh, you know, you want to have them visit your website. Now, what I've seen in the past is, is I've seen people, you know, have lead forms online. Uh, I've seen those lead forms generate a lot of leads, but those leads are not very high intent. Uh, we call them lead form happy people. Sometimes they just fill it out just to see what happens, right? But if you've ever run those leads before, you've noticed that when you call those leads, they might not know who you are. Or they not, might not remember what, what they were doing when they filled it out. All kinds of things, right? Mm -hmm. What we want to do today, folks, is we want to show you and teach you how to get a higher intent lead. And basically what that is doing is that is what you're you're going to be creating a funnel. OK, and we're going to talk about what that means here in a second. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to paint a hypothetical situation on exactly how this should look. Let's say you're an insurance broker and you created a Facebook ad, whether that is a dynamic image ad or whether that's a video ad. And in that ad, you brought some value. Maybe it was an obstacle that you solve for one of your clients, or maybe it's a guide that you want to offer to people. But what you want to do is, is you want to, instead of directing them to fill out a lead form, you want to drive them to your website. So website traffic. Okay. But here's one of the biggest things I see that not a lot of websites have, and they should. So let's say that you are running a final expense lead ad um, and you're targeting grandparents, right? To maybe take out a policy for their grandchildren, provide some value, uh, drive them to your website. Now on your website, what I, what I really want you to do is, is I want you to create a video on that page and on that page, that video is specific to the marketing that you were doing on Facebook. So what that could look like is they click on your ad, they go to your website. The first thing they see is a video of you in that video of you. It's basically saying, Hey, thank you for checking out my Facebook advertisements. Uh, I'm very passionate about helping people just like yourself get the proper insurance coverage for their grandchildren. Here are five reasons why that's important. Now, if you're really interested in my help right below me on my website, there is going to be a link to my calendar. Fill that out, book some time with me, and just know that as soon as you fill that link out, I'm going to be in touch to confirm and also to make sure that we're having an appointment for that day. So what you'll see here, folks, is you're you're progressing people through a funnel, right? So they they clicked on your Facebook ad, you drove them to your website. They went to your website and there was a video of you talking about that exact same topic, right? So it gives them a little bit more information. Now, after they watch that quick little video, you're going to clearly send them to your call to action, which is to either fill out a form on your website or 
to book on, you know, book on your calendar on something like Calendly, which is a great resource. But what it's going to do is what you're going to see is instead of somebody just filling out a form on Facebook and moving on, you're sending them through a funnel. You're sending them from Facebook to your website, to a video, to a calendar link to speak with you. Okay. It's going to help you generate higher intent leads because they're going through these processes, right? So by the time they're at the process where they're booking an appointment with you, they've already seen multiple segments and they said, you know what? I do really like this. I am going to go ahead and book an appointment with him. Here's the other thing or her. Here's the other thing is now they've seen your videos multiple times. Okay. Which also is going to help establish trust, right? How many of us have run a direct mail lead or a Facebook lead? And these people have no idea who you are creating them and running them through these, what we call funnels is also going to help you establish credibility and trust because there's going to be multiple touch points where your prospect is going to see you on video and they're going to get to know you a little bit more. So uh, very basic, very simple. What you can do, uh, I see two ways you can do this on your website. You can embed a YouTube video. You could even use something like Vimeo, uh, V-I-M-E-O. Uh, both are free resources to embed a video onto your website, completely free. Um, so look, folks, I, the, the reason I want to do this is because I'm getting kind of frustrated hearing from so many brokers that are just running Facebook ads and Facebook lead forms, and they're not really high intent leads. Uh, there's a lot of competition out there on Facebook and I want to drive them to your website with your videos, with your clear instructions on how they can get in touch with you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Mike at TidewaterMG.com. Be more than happy uh, to provide you with some other insight uh, that you might have some questions on. But I hope that you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Mike at TidewaterMG.com. Hope you have a great day. See you.